What's up photography fans, it's Martin from All About Sweet Photography channel. Last week I have talked about photo flag raising on Iwo Jima and today I would like to talk about the photo that was the Soviet answer to Rosenthal's Iwo Jima photograph. The photo that symbolizes the victory of Red Army over Nazis. Let's talk about this iconic photo of World War II, raising flag over the Reichstag. Thank you for watching today's story behind the photograph. Uh, subscribe to this channel or share it with your friends. Also check out the All About Street Photography website where you can find this content in the form of blog. Everything is for free so if you feel like supporting this channel this way it would be appreciated. Thank you and now let's get back to the video. Raising a flag over the Reichstag is a photograph taken by a Soviet soldier, Ukrainian born Evgeny Khalye. It was actually two days after Adolf Hitler committed suicide when Khalye arrived in Berlin with his Leica 3 with 35mm f3.5 lens and a huge Soviet flag. The flag was actually made from three red tablecloth. Just like the Iwo Jima photograph, this was not the first flag raised at that location. The first one was raised just a few days before this photograph was taken. But then the building was lost and when it was taken back by Soviet soldiers again, the photograph was made. The other theory talks about staging the photo for the purpose of the photograph. Kalje took a full roll of 36 pictures to take this photo. What they focused on in Moscow when printing the photograph was adjusting the contrast, shadows and darkening the sky to make the photo look more dramatic. They also removed an object from the right wrist of the soldier holding the flag which sparked a little controversy. Now, there are two theories why this was done. The first one suggests that the object that was removed was a wristwatch. Now, since the soldier already had a wristwatch, on his other hand, it would look like he had stolen the second watch. This wasn't a rare thing for any army during the World War II, but looting would actually be punishable by an execution. Now, the second theory is that the item attached to the man's hand was just a wrist compass, which was not too uncommon and it was definitely possible. Since the photographer was probably aware of that when printing the photo, he decided to remove it from the soldier's wrist. The soldiers with the Soviet flag at the former center of German's government were a symbolic of the victory over Nazi Germany. They were all supposed to be handpicked, but according to Khalje, he simply picked soldiers who happened to be nearby. What I particularly like about the composition is the nice diagonal created by the flagpole. The image was published a few days later in Ogonyok magazine and was republished in thousands of publications. When we look at the both photos, we can really say those are the two most recognizable and significant photos of the Second World War. The Iwo Jima was taken during the fights and became a symbol of American triumph that also helped to raise over $26 billion for American army. Raising a flag over the Reichstag was taken at the end of the war and represents the Soviet victory over the Nazi Germany. Both pictures played important roles during and after the war. They were taken thanks to the brave soldiers and we all know at what cost. Thank you for watching today's story behind the photograph. If you liked it, feel free to give it a like. Thank you and see you next time.